Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of any debris that may be stuck between the front grill and the radiator in your BMW. This is not limited to M2s, M3s, M4s, and 5s This actually applies to many BMWs out there. And the problem is the lower grill in the bumper is not removable without removing the bumper. So you can't just simply pop it out because what happens is it actually pops inside. So to pop the grill out, you have to remove the bumper and then pop the grill out, which defeats the purpose of, uh, of doing it quickly. Uh, but I figured out uh, a couple of different ways uh, of doing it. Some are easier than the others and I'm going to show you what they are. Here's the first solution. You get yourself a set of these squeezy thingies. I don't know what the name of this thing is, but it basically uh, allows you to reach objects that are far away. Far away. Uh, you squeeze the thumbs and this little mouth opens up and it uh, allows you to pull things in. Uh, you can get this for about 10 bucks. I'll actually link it in the description for you. And uh, so what you can do is you insert it in the grill and let's see can we grab that cigarette butt look at that nice and easy and you can obviously continue doing it with all leaves and all the debris stuck in there if you have the patience you can clean out everything behind the grill in a matter of minutes Now the problem with this solution is that bigger objects, especially if you have big leaves, once you pull them to the front of the grill, they get crushed and they leave a lot of little pieces of debris. So that's why there are other methods out there. The next solution involves a vacuum cleaner, any vacuum cleaner will do, and a piece of tube and a way to convert this tube to your vacuum cleaner hose. In my case, I have a little funnel that I insert into that, that tube. It's a perfect fit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the end of the vacuum cleaner into the funnel. Then I'm going to stick this into the grill and that's going to create suction and hopefully pull out some of the little tiny pieces of leaves and maybe break up some of the big ones uh, uh, for a quick and easy clean. <laughs> So let's take a look. Uh, it picked up some leaves. Uh, definitely if I were to do it for a couple of minutes, it would pick up most of them. Uh, so it's also an, a great, great uh, solution to get some of these leaves out. All right, and the last method is a bit more complicated and it involves jacking up the car, getting underneath. Let me squeeze in. So here underneath the car, uh, you have to undo some eight millimeter uh, screws to uh, loosen up some of these plastics. And uh, this will gain us access to this piece, which we can drop and hopefully that'll expose some leaves and debris. All right, and the reason why we move these side plastics aside is because right over here, you have this 13 millimeter nut that needs to be taken off which will allow us to tilt the plastic down and see what's underneath once you loosen up the plastic you will see that there's room for you to get in between and vacuum that area you can actually squeeze a, 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 a thin tube and vacuum in there what you could do is you could loosen up this cooler as well and uh and drop it down so you can gain full access to that area I'm not going to do that because I simply don't have this many leaves. But if this is your issue, this is what you do. So there you go. These are the three ways I think you could remove any debris from behind the grill. Now, some ways are easier than others. My favorite one actually is this little guy. I don't know. There's just something cool about being able to stick these arms out and grab a leaf or a cigarette butt. Uh, the vacuum cleaner method is also very, uh, very useful taking all the plastics off, relocating the coolers. I feel like it's too involved for, uh, for my liking. And at the end of the day, it's not really that serious. But, uh, but now you know how to do this. 
And on that note, thank you very much for watching. How about thumbs up? Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.